มะเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉันเดี๋ยวฉัน You know, get some bucks cruising through the edge of this field, kind of some pre-rut. Uh, we're hunting right in the middle of a cold front. Last week it was in the 70s, and then today it's in the 40s. Um, it's only going to get colder. Uh, rained yesterday all day, today all day. The rest of the week's going to look good. Uh, plan on heading up. I got about a two-mile hike to get to my spot on public. But plan on finishing out tonight, and then heading up there to do some saddle hunting tomorrow. So, I guess uh, let's see how this evening goes.
that buck wanted to bite the decoy, but he got directly downwind of me at 15 yards. That would have been cool if he would have came in on the other side of me. It's October 31st. We're way back in the timber on a piece of public here in PA. It's about 8.30, cold morning. It's still morning. Bluebird sky with a frost in the morning. On a beautiful ridge. A lot of squirrels. Uh, it was a full moon last night. Thinking the deer are going to move about midday. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Yes. <laughs> I hope that was on film. Mm, baby. I'm in the crookedest tree on this ridge. <laughs> Let me watch the footage. Oh, I hope I was in there. Yes! Footage was good. Oh. There will be blood outdoors. First public land buck here in Pennsylvania. I walked two miles back in this morning. I can't even believe that just happened. It may not be a giant to most people, but get out of here. What a cool season so far. My boy got a buck. My brother's had a phenomenal year. I just self filmed my first public land buck Looks like a good eight point. <laughs> wow, how cool is that? Self-filming is so freaking hard. 
I carry like 50 pounds in here. It is Halloween day, October 31st. And it's like 10 o'clock. I'm shaking so bad. 9.30. Get out of here. All right, so it's been a couple minutes since I shot that buck. Oh, that is such a rush. Especially on a cold morning like today. I know, um, watching the footage, I was trying to sneak a shot in through there, and I know I hit a limb, but that's exactly why I went to those cut on contacts this year. Um, you just can't always anticipate a buck coming in to the perfect shooting lane on public, because you can't trim any of the branches in public land in PA. Another reason that I stopped that deer where I did was because my wind is pulling directly down. I don't know if a couple more steps he would have got my wind. I had a good lane right through there. You might even be able to get like over the shoulder footage of it on the GoPro. Man, there will be blood outdoors. That may only be a 110 inch buck, but it's my first public land buck. And that still gets me jacked up. I have a New York tag. I can hunt the rest of the week in New York. So it's not like, you know, I can't hunt the best time of the year. I have my wife that can still go out. I'm pretty sure that deer smoked. So I'm going to sit here until I stop shaking. And then we're going to get down and go look. There will be blood outdoors getting it done on Halloween. That's my first Halloween buck. All right. So we're standing where I shot that buck. He came out this trail right here through this laurel. Uh, I was out here early spring and scouted the far edge of this ridge and just loved it. There was a lot of sign. I initially had thought about maybe one of those hemlocks down there, but it just doesn't work out. So there's a trail that comes out here and then there's another one that shoots out down there lower. Um, I was Oh, he couldn't see me through that sun up there. That's cool. Um, so it worked out perfect besides the fact that he was getting ready to get in my wind. So um, right here where I shot him, I did not get a pass through. I hit that limb pretty hard. So uh, I'm kind of going to head over to where I'm pretty sure I saw him go down. And uh, we'll see if he's laying there. But pretty neat. Pretty neat hunt. All right. Should be about 75 yards down over. I saw him stuttering around so we'll see if we can find blood on the way down all right so i'm not very far about 10 yards hard to see because there's a bunch of red leaves in here but uh there's a ton of blood here he's uh really spitting out going down through here so uh, we're gonna pick this up follow him where he lays So that's the kind of track job you're liking to see right there. It is just absolutely pouring out. I must have got through that other side. I didn't think I did, but I am so glad that I made the swap to the heavier green arrows and the cut on contact broadheads. It should be just through this little patch of
<laughs> I see a dead buck. I see a dead buck. Oh my gosh, he didn't go 75 yards. There's half of my arrow. It looks like even with hitting that limb, I went right up to that. Yeah, just past the XT in the Pro Hunter, so 29 and a half inch arrow. There's about six inches left. There's a dead buck right there. Oh, he's gonna be a giant by the time I get him out of here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what'd you do? This is a buck your friends hate hate you for calling. I don't have any friends today, they're all working. Check us out. What's that right there? That's a big old Pennsylvania public land buck, my first one ever. Oh man. What a cool buck, man. Now, I actually need to go back and get my tag. Get tag on this thing, and I'm gonna show you guys what's up. Absolutely perfect shot right behind the crease of that front shoulder. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, my first public land buck. Um, it is October 31st, Halloween day, and it was a cool, frosty morning. I had scouted this spot, put cameras up, um, was kind of saving it for a day like today, came back, um, I actually didn't get to the stand till almost quarter to eight probably. I took some time to cool down, layered up the rest of my clothes, snuck in the last couple hundred yards when it was pretty much daylight, got set up. Um, I had a small buck come in, just a little spike. I was actually, you know, going to draw back on him and just kind of make sure everything was good. And as soon as he got behind a tree, I just hung my bow back up and I saw this guy coming through the mountain laurel. Um, I couldn't pass him up, uh, cool story, cool hunt, self film, public land, saddle hunt, archery equipment, I mean, just, it does it for me, um, may not be the biggest buck ever, but, uh, I can work on getting a bigger one next time, now that I'm learning this area a little bit, so I can learn from this hunt, um, gonna put a lot of meat in the freezer, he's a big old deer, and, like I said, I'm really excited that I made the change, um, to a heavier arrow this year and went to a cut on contact because I hit a limb. I shot through a pretty good window. Uh, I just happened to clip that limb and I don't think that my old setup would have uh, still hit him exactly where I was aiming. So perfect shot, uh, quartering too slightly, came out kind of in, in the middle of his body, only went about 75 yards and fell over. So I'm two for two with those Montac G5s. Um, Taylor shot a doe and a bear with his, so uh, we're actually four for four as a group. Uh, very excited about that. Got to give a shout out to New View Hunting. They supplied us with a ton of hunting gear this year. Uh, the L80 backpack that I'm carrying out, I can fit all my camera gear in, as well as my sticks and my platform and a bunch of food. Um, also, all this camo that I'm wearing, they gave to us to try out. Uh, this binocular harness, which... I don't know if you noticed in our last videos, I used to have all kinds of stuff strapped around my neck. Uh, range finders here handy where I need it. Binoculars are here handy where I need them. Super easy, takes a bunch of stuff off my neck. Um, so thank you to New View Hunting uh, for sending us this product. Check them out on Amazon. They make a ton of hunting stuff, maybe some stuff you don't even think you need. Uh, get on there and check it out. I know they said they're sending us one of the 270 see-through blinds that I'm really excited to hopefully get set up for my wife and do a little decoy hunting back on private land. So uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, let me know how you guys are making out this year, but uh, we like to kill stuff, and this one was a very exciting hunt, and I'm super proud of this buck. So have a lot of work to get him out of here. Um, so we're gonna get to that, but uh, see you on the next one.